Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. That's me, it's Wendy, right? No, Mariela. Hello, girls, and Fausto. <laughs> Hello. How are you tonight? You doing good? Yes. Uh, Maria is like, ah, finally, it's Friday. Let's do it. Ah, yeah, por fin. Okay. So, pero no, no es, no es por aburrido, teacher, sino que porque quizás ya es el cansancio, porque a mí me gusta mucho la clase, pero de repente estoy, ay, es tiring, estoy bien, bien cansado ahora, <laughs> más después de trabajar toda la semana. I think Friday uh -huh. is the Friday, yeah, and, yeah, well, yes. and Monday are difficult, ¿verdad? Esos son los días más. Hasta mañana todavía. Parece que ya sentimos así como la pesadez, pero ya yeah. porque la clase es muy bonita. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uy, that's my husband clinic. Okay, let me close my door. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's, that's him cleaning. Okay. So let's start here. Hello, Walter. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. So let's see here. Hopefully, uh, today Zoom is going to work fine and we can do our class. Lexis 802. Give me one moment. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna start sharing here my computer. Hello, Eliani. Now we will start with. Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, hello. We continue with unit number three. Where do you work? Right. And today is video conference number 14. How to use prepositions of time. Ese es el nombre. Sin embargo, tenemos que seguir trabajando con. WH questions, okay? Now, with the first exercise that I have to you is like for you to remember what we have done previously. And I would like you to, to help me out with this exercise here. Let me put, okay. Can you see the exercise that I have on the screen? Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. Yes, okay, very good. Only Mariela can see? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Now, in this exercise, we say put the words in order Gracias, amor. to make questions, then answer the questions, right? So we have the first one, it says name, your, what's, last, and teachers. That's the, 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 those are the, the, the words. Son las palabras ya desorganizadas. Then with those words, we create a question, okay? Estas son WH questions using the verb be, okay? Entonces creamos la pregunta, what's your teacher's last name? My teacher's last name is, and then you answer, right? Puede ser cualquiera. My teacher's last name is, Luego tenemos la 2, la 3, la 4, la 5, 2, 3, 4, and 5, right? And we have some information there, right? You are going to create a question and invent the answer, okay? Invent the answer. Now, we're going to do this right now individually to see if we can remember. Can you please take a screenshot of this activity so you can have it with you? Okay, take a screenshot. Yes. Okay, very good. So now, we already have the example for number one, and let's work on the other four individually. Vamos a trabajar las otras cuatro individualmente y a ver qué 
¿Qué pregunta y qué respuestas tenemos? Invéntense la respuesta. There's no problem. Let's see. Please tell me if you didn't understand the exercise. Díganme si no entendieron el ejercicio, lo que vamos a hacer. Y así seguimos. Les explicamos de nuevo. There's no problem. Hello, Eric. Hello. Carla. Hello, teacher. Me voy conectando. I see that. No, no sé de qué ejercicio será. Okay. We're working Hola. with we are working with this exercise, Eric. Can you see it? Okay. Okay, with this exercise, what we're doing is that we are creating questions, WH questions with the verb be, right? And we are providing the answers to that. So in the first one, the example is name, your, what's, last, teachers. And the answer is what's your teacher's last name? My teacher's last name is whatever. Right, you can mention anything, right? Okay. So you're going to create, using these disorganized words, you will create a question and then answer the question. Can you please take a okay. screenshot? Okay. Come? Okay. So let's start. That's not on your manual, Eric. No está en su manual. Ah. Tiene que tomar una captura de pantalla. O escribirlas, como usted guste. Edwin, ¿do you have a question? Yes. Ya. Yeah. Ok, very good. Let's continue. Okay. Tell me if you have questions. No teacher, no questions. Okay, thank you. No fui teacher, disculpe, me acabo de ingresar. Yes. Oh, hi, hi, eh, Carla. Hello, Wendy. Can you hear me? Wendy, Joanna? Hello, teacher. Okay. Now, I am going to explain the exercise one more time. We have this exercise, right? And what we are going to do is that we are going to put the words in order to create a question. And after that, we are going to answer the question. Okay. Tenemos las palabras acá, miren, están desorganizadas, las ponemos en orden para crear una pregunta y luego contestamos la pregunta con información que nosotros sepamos que es acorde a la pregunta. ¿Okay? So, tenemos en la primera, name, your, what's, last, and teachers. Then we create, what's your teacher's last name? My teacher's last name is Rivera, for example. Right? That's what we're going to do. So please take a screenshot, Carla and Wendy. Okay. Very good. Let's start. Who finished? Not yet? No. Tell me if you have questions. Aunque sea por chat, si tienen preguntas, díganme.
Did you finish? No. No yet? No Not yet? Okay. Hello, Briseida. Hola. Hi. We're working on this exercise right now, Briseida. And we're putting the words in order to make the questions. Like in the example here, number one, we're doing the same for the other uh, four questions or four sentences. Please take a screenshot. Yeah. Okay, very good. Tell me if you finish. Okay, one more minute so we can check the answers. Okay, Eliani, did you finish? So, 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 okay. Mariela? I finished. Very good. Fausto? Aún no, por la última. Not yet. Not yet, aún no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, okay. While you work in this, I will take the attendance, okay? Ya son las 8 y 15. Mientras terminan la última oración, la última pregunta, yo tomo asistencia. Ok. Susana Guadalupe, a Costa de Cruz. Susana, not here. Hola, estaba copiando el ejercicio. Okay. I am going to call the attendance, so please, if you have your camera off, please put it on. Turn it off. Okay.
Carla, Yesenia Arita, Fausto, Edwin, podrían encender sus camaritas, por favor. Es que estoy copiando las preguntas. Ok, solo un momento para pasar la asistencia. Bueno. Okay. Wendy Joana Ruiz González. Presente. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Presente, Ticho. Jennifer Madali Hernández Mejiva. Presente. Eric Macario Pérez Ramírez. Eric Macario Pérez Ramírez. Presente, presente, tenía el... el Briseida, audio, perdón. Briseida Mabel Avilés Zelaya. Presente. Pausa Antonio Landa Verde López. Presente. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Presente. Wendy Yesenia Arita González. Presente. Edwin Antonio sí. García Hernández. Presente. Roselena Figueroa Hernández. Jessica Joana Guardado de Medrano. Presente. Alexander de Jesús Palma. Pedro Ernesto Quijada Celaya. Presente. María de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Presente. Carla Díazet Colocho de Parada. Presente, presente, presente. Abel Edgardo Martínez Hernández. Todavía lo está ocupando, mami. Abel Edgardo. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Presente. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Presente. Thank you. Ok. So let's continue with the exercise. And let's see the answers. Ya terminamos el ejercicio. Veamos, Mariela, help me out with number one. Well, with number two. And Eliani, help me out with number three. And let's see what are the possible answers, okay? Okay. Yeah. And number one, uh, what's your teacher last name? Mm -hmm. uh, my teacher last name is Ramos. Okay. What's your teacher first name? My teacher first name is Silvia. Okay, very good. And Eliani, go with number three. Where are you from? No, perdón. Where is your teacher from? My teacher from in San Salvador. Okay. Now, uh, remember where do we have to put Eliani? The the verb. Can you please repeat your answer, Please. my teacher? My my teacher live in an, in San Salvador. Okay, lives in San Salvador. And for that for that answer will be the question, right? Where does your teacher live? But it says here, where is your teacher from? Mm -hmm. Where is your teacher, teacher from? from. Mm -hmm. My teacher from. My teacher, My teacher from. from. What, is, what is the verb, Eliani, in the question? And this is for everyone, not only for Eliani, for everyone. What is the verb in this question? Donde vive tu maestra? No, but I'm not asking for the translation. ¿Cuál es el verbo? ¿Dónde es tu maestra? Óyeme, no lo traduzca, no lo traduzca, no le estoy pidiendo que lo traduzca. Teacher. Teacher. Podría ser. Podría ser. She's from, she's from. Okay, she's from. Okay, she's very from good. San Salvador. Okay. My she's teacher from. is from San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. She's from. Ahora, ¿cuál es, ¿cuál es el verbo en esta oración? From. No. From. Is. 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 El verbo to be, miren. Acá uh. y acá. 
Verb B. Verb B. La pregunta acá no tiene live. En ninguna parte tiene live. Entonces no podemos utilizar acá live. Porque está preguntando de dónde es. My teacher is from San Salvador. Ajá, no, ¿Dónde vive actualmente? Uh -huh. Sorry. No, que dónde, o sea, pregunta de dónde puede ser. De dónde original, sería original. No, dónde vive. Uh -huh. ah, no exactly. de dónde vive actualmente. Ok. Exacto. Ok, yes. Ok. Let's continue with number four. My teacher is from San Salvador. Teacher. Uh -huh. okay. ok, number four. Let's see. Who has number four? ¿Quién tiene la número cuatro? Who has number four? I got it. Ok, very good. Tell me. ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Cómo fue How is your English class? How is your English my, class? My English class is amazing. Ok, very good. My English class is amazing. Okay, very good. In this sentence, Edwin, what is English? What is the subject for that sentence? Y podría ser English class. My English class, very good, very good. And what is the verb? Is. Is, very good. And the complement? Amazing. Amazing. Your answer is amazing too. Very good. Very good. And the last one, Carla Marielos, I believe you're ready. You look like you're ready. Uh -huh. Can you speak louder? Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Who was speaking? Escuché una vocecita, pero no sé de quién. Uh -huh. What is the, the last one? Uh -huh. What you are like classmate? What you are like, late, are no, like uh, classmates. Bye. What do you think about this? Like how are you different? What do you have? This one is not correct in regards to order. Remember WH question plus the auxiliary plus the subject plus complement. I like classmates. What are you? What are your classmates like? Very good. What uh -huh. are your classmates like? Classmates like. What are your classmates like? How are they like? Oh, they are very smart. Oh, they are lazy. Right? Oh, they are I nice like people. That they are friendly. Okay, they are friendly. Very good. They are friendly. They are friendly. Very good. Or you can say, ah, oh, they are bad people. I don't like them. <laughs> right? It depends, right? Not always is a positive answer. It can be also negative. Okay, these are some examples of WH questions with the verb to be. Okay, with the verb to be. Now, let's continue working here. And I am going to ask you, let me see the chat. Okay. I want to, we want to, yesterday we didn't have the opportunity to practice the conversation, so, some of you are going to practice. Now, this is the one on page 31. I am going to start with, let me see. The first one that is going to participate in this part is going to be Fausto and Carla. Carla Marielos. Fausto, you're Kevin. Carla, you're Albert. 
Okay. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it why. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is what is it about? What well, else, Mr. Reese? Have have to do that day. I am not so sure. What time does he finish the work on Thursdays? Or when does he have free time? Okay, very yeah. good. Very good. So we have the first one. Now, just keep in mind here. What is it about? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it about? Right? What is it about? Can you do me a favor? Right. Can you do me a favor? Why? This is a question, so make it sound like a question. Mm, I'm not so sure. No está seguro. I'm not so sure. Right? Okay, now let's see here another couple that's going to work with us. Let me see. Mariela and Rene. Mariela, you're Kelvin, Kevin, and Rene, you're Albert. Okay. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new products and why a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sir, what is about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I, I'm not to serve. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, very good, very good. Now you select one person, Mariela, and you, Rene, select another person. Mariela, choose one Eric. classmate. Okay, Rene chooses Carla. Eric, okay. And Eric. <laughs> Carla Colocho. Carla Colocho. Okay, Miss Colocho and Eric. Okay. Eric, you're Kevin. Okay. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product and why and report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help my move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What it's about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not too sure. What I do, he finished to work on Tuesday. Or will that he have free time? Okay, very good. That was very okay. nice. Very good. Okay. Do I have two volunteers? Thank you, Carla and Eric. Yeah. Do I have any volunteers? Okay. Me. Okay, Madali Me. and? Me. Edwin, okay. Madali and Edwin. Madali, you're Kevin. Edwin, you're Albert. Okay. Madali, you start. Wait. What do you have to do on Thursday? To, on the Thursday, perdón. I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need some to help me. Moving, moving some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? 
What does Mr. Reese have to do? Have to have to have to do that day? Have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What what time? What time does? No, permítame. What time does? He finished to work on Thursday, or when does he have free time? Very good, very good. Now, Madali, we just need to check on some words. Let me show you here. For example, if I have favor, favor, right? Favor. Favor. And then we have move some boxes move some move some boxes. boxes very good move some boxes have to do that day have to do have to do that day that day okay very have good have to do that day that date very good day. now thank you you're welcome thank you and the last two any volunteers me Okay, who's me? Hey, Walter. Okay, very good, Walter. Someone else? Okay. Teacher. Este, what do you do, have to do on Thursday? But who's the other one? Briseida. Okay, thank you, Briseida. Briseida Salvador. I just check the production for the new product, product and write a report about 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 why? Because a new morning to help me move some. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Reed how to do that day? That day. I'm not sure. What I does he finish to work on Thursday, or when does he have free time? Very good, very good. Or when does he have free time? Very good. Now, we're going to continue with the next activity, just feedback for pronunciation as a whole. Para ir practicando pronunciación, puede ir practicando, se oye como cliché, pero funciona al mil por ciento. Pueden ir practicando con canciones que en inglés que son canciones lentas, no, no vayan a escuchar Eminem o, o, o rapero, ¿verdad? no, nada que ver. Vamos a escuchar canciones lentas primero, porque cuando escuchamos, por ejemplo, rap o hip hop, ya el inglés va con bastante slang y nos cuesta entenderlo. Y también por la pronunciación que hoy tienen. Hoy en día los raperos hablan totalmente distinto a como hablaban hace 10 años. Entonces vamos a escuchar canciones lentas en inglés para ir eh, entendiendo un poquito más cómo se conectan cada una de las palabras. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos, what is it about it? Right? I have to write a report about it. No es, es el, la, la pronunciación está perfecta, about it. Pero tenemos que decir about it, about it, about it. Se oye como que si fuera una sola palabra, ¿verdad? Pero son dos. Entonces, eso es lo que tenemos que ir practicando. Hello, Rosalena. Hello. Now, we're going to continue here with the next activity, with the next exercise. Let me show you here my computer. Next exercise for tonight. Right? Yesterday, you were going to give me Based on this, uh, on this conversation, you were supposed to give me some questions, right? Miss Arita gave me the answers, but it was very quick, right? Ella ya me dijo sus respuestas. Estoy segura que ella las tiene. But I need to remember from you, Pedro, what are the answers that you have for number one? Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Bien, bien. La pregunta es, what does Albert have to Thursdays? Have to? Have, 
to do. On Thursday. Okay, very good. What is the answer? Pedro? Yo. Espérenme, señorita, ahorita. Check and the report and the, on the Thursday. Okay, give me a complete answer. Subject verb complement. What is the complete answer, Pedro? Podría, podría ponerme la conversación. This is on page 31. Okay. Page 31. Busca las respuestas que tiene ayer. Check the production for the new products and write a report about. About it. Okay. Albert, Albert checks. And blah, blah. Remember subject, verb, and complement. Okay, very good. Okay. Now, let's continue with number two. Pedro, choose another person. Briseida. Briseida. Um, because, because, when, well, la pregunta primero. Why does mm -hmm. Kevin need help? Because he needs someone to help move some boxes. Move some boxes, very good. That's perfect, Briseida, very good. Choose the next person, Briseida. Carla Marielos. 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 Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Okay. What is the answer? Ay, teacher, no sé cómo, cómo, poner la, cómo poner la respuesta porque ahí dice que si sí necesita no que la tradu ayudar a Kevin. No la tradujo. Ah. No la tradujo. Veamos, veamos, vaya, hagamos algo todos con esta... Pregunta. Nadie me diga las respuestas, sino que le voy, le voy a ir preguntando cosita por cosita. ¿Qué es eso que está escribiendo Briseira? Se pasa. ¿Eh? Escribiendo mensajes secretos. We have the question here. Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Okay. Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Now, tell me, cuando usted le pregunta, cuando usted escucha esta pregunta, ¿cuál cree que va a ser el subject que va a escribir? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? What is going to be the I subject? Think I think. Okay. I. I. Very good. That's the think. subject. And what is the verb? Think. 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 Very good. I think, right? Y luego me dicen who. Me quiero preguntar qué cuando digo who. ¿A quién me estoy refiriendo? ¿Qué es lo que quiero preguntar cuando digo who? Ajá, exacto. Vamos a las notas, correcto. Eso está muy bien. ¿Por qué? ¿Por Situaciones. qué? No, con who. Vamos a las notas que ustedes ya escribieron. ¿Quién? 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 Ok, very good. I think, y quién que aquí es donde vamos a escribir. Kevin. I think Kevin. Kevin. No, pero Kevin va, va a ayudar a Kevin. I think Albert. I think Albert. Is going to help Kevin. Is going to help Kevin. Very good. Eh, now, what is the trick here? ¿En dónde está la, como el, 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 eh, el trick? El, sí, no sé cómo decirlo. 
Acá no, ustedes no. identifiquen, identifiquen cuáles son los elementos de la pregunta. No la traduzcan. Ustedes ya saben que es un subject y saben que es un verbo. Identifíquenlo en la pregunta y cuando lo hayan identificado, así van a ver esa información y así van a poder escribir su oración. ¿Ok? Si yo les digo, por ejemplo, en la primera pregunta, What does Albert have to do on Thursday? ¿Cuál es el verbo ahí, Carla de hacer? Have. have. Very good. Very good. That is the verb. That is have. Very good. It's, that's perfect. What about why does Kevin need help? ¿Cuál es el verbo ahí? Need. 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 Very good. And what about the last one? What does mm. Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? Do. Do. Very do. good. Very good. So those are the those are the main verbs that we have. Usted identifica el verbo, luego identifica el, el, el subject, y ahí vamos. Esas son las dos partes elementales o más básicas que tienen que identificar. Okay? So let's go. Do you have a question about this exercise? Do you have a question? Tengo dos chats aquí, vamos a ver. Ah, okay, Briseida. Now I understand. ¿Qué pasa? Hay mensajes codificados están enviando esta gente. <laughs> I am going to listen to that song, Briseida. Okay. Now let's let's see here. Let's continue. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de ese ejercicio, chicos? No hay preguntas tontas. Cualquier pregunta es válida. Así que démosle. ¿No hay preguntas? Ok. Si no hay preguntas, yo continúo. Ok. Now, yesterday we were working with um, questions, WH questions, and the form of simple present. Ok. Now, here I am showing you like an example of information questions that the book gives us, right? for us to write with simple present in third person singular, okay? If you look at this, this is third person singular. What is third person singular? He, she, and it, right? Those are the three, three uh, main things that we need to remember. She, he, and it, right? Equals third person, singular okay and what is the auxiliary that i have to use for third person singular does hmm? does that. That. very good i have to use does very good no with you, no with they, no. Con eso, con I, you, we, and they, I have to use do, okay? Okay, let's remember that. And now let's read the questions that we have there. Uh, read the first question, Jennifer Madali, here. Uh, perdón, teacher. Can you please read the first question? Just read. Ay, no entiendo. Eh, Puede leerla. Can you, can you read? Sí. Cuando le diga es, can you Information, read? Ajá. question, with... No, only this part. What this question. Ah, perdón, 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 perdón. Mm -hmm. What does she do, she do on Saturday and Sunday? Answer. Answer, Madali. Can you read the answer, Madali? She visits. No, no sé cómo se pronuncia. She. Yeah, visits. Visits other companies and has meetings. And has meetings. Very good. Very good. She visits other companies and has meetings. 
has meanings. Very good. Can, can you read the second question, Joanna? Where does he goes on? Ay, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Tuesday. Tuesdays, ajá. Uh, lo otro no sé cómo se dice, teacher. ¿Cómo cree usted que se dice? Al, al, no, no sé. Al, er, on. Al, er, on. Afternoon. 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 Ok. And the answer, can you please read the answer, René? He goes to the company headquarters. He goes to the company's headquarters. Okay, very good. Very good. Now let's go with number, number next here. Uh, let's see. Eliani. Which department does our boss supervisor? Supervise. Okay, very good. Very good. And the answer, please, Walter Mauricio. Our boss supervisor, the marketing department. Okay. Our boss supervises the marketing department. Very good. And the last one here, Joanna. Was I? Was I? Does, what time? Was I? Does Miguel start to working? Very good. In Miss Guardado. Miguel start to work at nine o'clock. Very good, very good. Now, just I need you to remember the, the, the structure of these questions. Vean estas preguntas. ¿Cuál es la estructura de estas preguntas? Right. Yes, Fausto, go ahead. WH. WH, word, más auxiliar. Plus, más, sin, digan así, plus. Ah, plus, uh -huh. Las subjects. Plus. Las subjects. Plus complement. Plus complement. Very good. Very good. That will be the structure for the WH questions in third person singular. Recordemos que vamos a utilizar este tipo de preguntas cuando tengamos un, o cuando estemos haciendo una pregunta acerca de un tercero, ¿ok? Estamos conversando aquí y ustedes quieren hablar de Michelle Obama, right? Ah, oh, what does she do? Estamos hablando de alguien más y no pues estamos hablando de nosotros mismos, ¿ok? O queremos hablar de... Uh, de Trump. Ok. Entonces, estamos utilizando he y tenemos que hacer una pregunta con WH plus does plus he porque estamos hablando de un tercero. ¿Es that part clear? Yes. Yes. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre esta estructura antes que, nos, antes que sigamos? ¿Any questions? Tomémonos un minuto para ver si tenemos alguna pregunta, por favor. Teacher. Yes. Porque en la tercera va department, no, después de which. Oh, okay, very good. That's a good question. In this case, what we need is, for example, let me see here if I have. Okay. 
We are going to use wish. Okay. We are going to use the word wish. It has, you are going to use wish for things, but they are options. Okay. It's similar to what? Very similar to what? However, with which you have, when you say, what is your favorite color? Okay, escuchen, what's your favorite color? Las opciones de colores que tenemos son todas las que hay en el mundo. Okay? All of the colors in the world. What is your favorite color? So we can start thinking, oh, maybe black, maybe green, right? Porque tenemos una diversidad de colores exagerada. Es, la pregunta es más general. When we use which, we have options. So tell me, which is your favorite color? Blue or yellow? Or I can say, which color do you prefer? Which color do you prefer? Blue or yellow? Right? Here we can say, which department does your boss supervise? Human resources or marketing, right? Entonces, con which, muchas veces cuando utilizamos information questions con el do, tenemos que ponerle ahí qué es lo que estamos explicando, qué, qué tipo de, eh, perdón, qué queremos preguntar, sobre qué estamos preguntando. Entonces, acá tenemos... Department. Si yo utilizo el ejemplo de los, de los colores, tendría que decir, which color, which color do you prefer? Blue or yellow, right? Entonces, por eso siempre con which, como es más específico, tendem, tendemos a a dar un poquito más de información cuando estamos haciendo la pregunta. Very good. That's a very good question. Cuando utilizamos what, es más general. Okay? Very good. Do you have more questions? Please let me know. Any more questions? Do you have more questions? No questions? No. No? Okay, let's continue then. Como no hay preguntas, sigamos. Vamos a ver. The next exercise that we're going to do, it's pretty easy. On the next exercise, what we're going to do is again, we are going to put the words in order. We're going to organize the questions, but this time we are not going to give an answer, okay? We, only, we are only going to write the questions, right? Now, if I have here the words he, she, Ingrid, and employee, what are going to be, what is going to be the auxiliary that I am going to use? Do or does? Does. 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 Very good. So what could be the first one? If I have why the why he does have a meeting? Why does he? Why does why he? Does he? Why does, why he, does, he, have does he have a meeting? Very why good. A meeting. Very good. Why does he have a meeting? That's the first one. Very good. So we're going to answer this, but we're going to answer in pairs right now. Once you complete the questions, you are going to create some answers, right? We're going to kind of invent the answers because we don't know who is he, right? So you can think about a colleague, for example, right? To give the answers. Is that clear? Yes? Okay, we're going to have five to seven minutes to complete this yes. activity. Can you... Again. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, give me one moment. Can you see it? Okay, please take the screenshot. Yes. Okay, very good. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put you right now in groups. So let's get ready. Wait, that, uh -huh. Let me see. Now we're gonna work in groups of three right now. Yes. Okay, so let's go. Let's go, let's go. Please select your group. Please select your group. Thank you very much. Briseida, Eliani, Pedro. Wendy, Yesenia, can you please select your group? <laughs> Thank you, Edwin. Do you have any questions right now? You're too quiet. Está muy callado. Any questions? No? Okay. No. El borrador ahí. Oh, yeah. Prestamos, pues. Vaya. Para mí la segunda sería Where she does. No, no. Where does she? Porque igual, why does he? Me dijo, no. What he does, no que es why does he. Why does he? Have a meeting. Así fue que, así, así, así la primera, ¿no? Yes, that's ah, correct. Es, que la primera. es que la primera quedó Why does he have a meeting? Why does he have a meeting? Ajá, exactly. Why does he have a meeting? Así quedó la primera. Ah, where does she? Ah, where does she sería where does she este process the payments? Process the, the payments, process the payments. Mm -hmm. It's correct, teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Eh, una canción, no sé si, bueno, esta es parte de la, del ejercicio. Eh, mm -hmm. me, 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 con la que estoy practicando un poco el inglés, una que se llama Don't Sleep. No sé si ya la he escuchado. Ah, oh, yes. Es un inglés bien, es un okay. inglés bien lento. Mm -hmm. Y con esa he estado practicando, así que esa canción. Las más fáciles son las de los grupos, busquen las de los Bastard Boys. <laughs> <risa> fácil la brin fácil es así ese tipo de canciones vale, y cuando vamos a poner la canción we can't va a poner? ah ok we can't okay. I wish I could <risa> no porque así estamos bailando los pastos no se preocupe <risa> Es la macaria, ¿verdad? What Ingrid do on no. Westness? No, what does Ingrid... Así es, sería verdad. What, mm -hmm. what Ingrid, Ingrid do, do on Westness? West But Ingrid, Ingrid is... Is, 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 she. is, 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 is a she, so what do you use? Is she. What she does, she what does sería she she do on Wednesday? No, what, what does Ingrid do on Wednesday? What does Ingrid, what does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Exactly. Okay. What does Ingrid? Uh, 
In the last one, Sarah. Acquire. 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 Acquire or acquire. The last one. Acquire. Acquire. Pedro. Ya la ordenó. Ya ordenó la cuatro. En eso estoy ahorita. ¿Y usted, eh, Wendy? No. Ahorita. ¿Any questions? No, teacher. Creo que por el momento no, solo estoy tratando de ordenar la última. Rosalena, Wendy, do you have questions? Eh, lo que yo entendí que vamos a hacer, teacher, es que vamos a ordenar la pregunta agregando el 2 y mm -hmm. a contestar, eh, bueno, nos inventamos una respuesta. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Okay. Sí, ¿cuándo, cuándo, ¿cuándo el empleado adquiere la materia prima? Entonces va a poner, ¿cuándo? ¿Cuándo adquiere la materia prima el empleado? No, eso sería, ¿cuándo el empleado adquiere la materia prima? Ajá. ¿When does he? Sería, porque es él. Ajá. ¿When does he? Sí, when, sí correcto. ¿When does he? Y um, adquiere, ¿cómo es? Acquire. 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 When do, when Why? does he acquire? When, when does he acquire, 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 Pero yo creo que el empleado ya no lleva. O sea, ya no, porque se sustituye. Pero you can have it. You can have it. En la pregunta sí lo pueden poner. En la respuesta también. Sí, en, la re uh -huh. ah. en la respuesta sí o no. Uh -huh. Ok. We don't. We don't. Entonces lo podemos agregar al final. Employer. Pero no se Entonces, la, Vamos a poner las respuestas la, también. La pregunta yes. sería, when does he that cure it your material employer? <coughs> Acuérdense que allá a la par tenemos la respuesta. O sea, del, del ejemplo que vimos. ¿no? Entonces. Sí, pero hay que hacer la respuesta de un solo. Yes. Ajá, por eso en la primera que pusimos, why does he had uh, sería Sería. With us, he has a meeting. He has a meeting. Él tiene una reunión. Eso sería una respuesta. ¿Sí va? Answer. Uh -huh. A meeting. A meeting. Uh -huh. <coughs> la, 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 la primera. 
Sí, la segunda. La, ¿cuál seg la, la, segunda? la segunda dijimos que era with that she frozen the payment. The payment. Payments. 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 Entonces, la, la respuesta. Ajá. Uh -huh. He how, ajá, como decía ahí, they how, pero ahí decía they how, they how, because we have, lo sustituimos, pero decía he how. What could be the answer? Teacher, como dice, we with us, he how a meeting. Which one? The first one? La primera. Yes. Is why. Uh -huh. Yes. Why does he have a meaning? Why does he, he have why a meaning? Why does he have a meaning? Why does he have a meaning? Because said, he has a meeting. Because he has a meeting because. Recuerden que cuando tenemos why. Siempre respondemos con because. No sé por qué me sacó, Ticha. <ríe> Ahí igual que ayer usted. <ríe> no sé, está fallando el internet o no sé qué es, pero sí me saca cada rato. Yeah. It's because it's raining. Aquí siempre llueve, bien Entonces, teacher, una respuesta podría decir he how. O he how. Yeah, I'm meeting because. A meeting. That's a meeting because. Y ahí van a ir donde poner otra una respuesta. He has a meeting because. He is going to present the report, for example. Porque va a presentar un reporte. Because he is going to, he, or oh, he, he is presenting a report. Is presenting. I'm gonna put it here. He is because he is presenting a report, for example. Okay. Did you finish? That's the last one. Yeah. Okay. Per oh, yeah, let's go. Okay, <laughs> so let's go. We have one minute. Let's go. Let's go. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi, hi. Okay. Let's see. Oops. Let's see what are the answers that you have for this exercise. Okay. Now, what do you have for number one? We are going to have different answers. That's going to happen. We're going to have different answers. But that's okay, right? Let's see what are the answers that we're going to have. Who wants to start? Quien quiere comenzar? Me? 
Yo. Uh -huh, ok. La pregunta, la question, tengo como, with does he have a meeting? Ok, repeat one more time. Why does he have a meeting? Ok, why does he have a meeting? Ok, very good. Why does he have a meeting? And what is the answer that you wrote? It's meeting is very important. Because. Because. Meeting. Meeting is very important. It's very important. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Who has a different answer? This is uh, Pedro's group answer. Who has a different answer? Mm -hmm. Who has something different? ¿Quién tiene algo diferente? Who has something different? No he have a meeting. He have a meeting because he is presenting a report. Because he is presenting. Very good. He is presenting a report. Okay, very good. Yeah. Very good. Now let's go with number two. This will be number one. Okay. Yeah. What about know. number two? No. Who, has, who has the answer for number two? Where? It says where she processed the payments. Rene? <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah. Where she presented. Read your answer. <clears throat> the uh, question first. Yes. Ah, okay. Why da why? No. Where does she she process climate? The Where payment. does she process the payments? The payment. Where does she process Pay. the payments? Okay. <clears throat> the answer is. Uh, where she processes the payment? Where does she process the payments? Well, what is the answer? The answer where mm -hmm. uh, she where? No. The process the payment. No. No. Mm. Okay. René. René. Solo René. Mm -hmm. Where does she process the payments? ¿Qué le, qué, qué le quiero? ¿Qué es a WH question? ¿Qué, where? ¿Qué quiero preguntarle ahí? Eh, Where is es como lugar, no sé. Okay, very good. ¿Dónde? Place, uh -huh. very good. Es un place. Ahora, ya, sab ya sabemos que estamos queriendo preguntar de un place. ¿Cuál sería el subject de esta oración? Eh, en la pregunta, ¿cuál es el subject? Sería she. She, ok. ¿Y cuál es she el verbo? Process ah. Uh, process mm -hmm. the payments is the bank in the bank in the bank very good very good she processed the payments in the bank very good okay there we are we have the first part now do we understand Anna? yes 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 teacher sure. yeah. very good yes yeah. She process the payment. Oh, the payments. Thank you. The payments in the bank. The payments in the bank. Okay, very good. Thank you, Vilseida. Now, let's continue here with number three. 
What Ingrid do on Wednesdays? What is the answer? Who has the answer? What does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Mm -hmm. What? Does Ingrid do on Wednesday? What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? And the answer is? She runs every Wednesday. She? Runs every Wednesday. She runs every Wednesday. Very good. She runs every Wednesday. Very good. This, this question, you can write any other activity, right? She goes to cooking lessons on Wednesdays, for example. That could be another answer, right? Who has a different answer? She goes to the party on Wednesday. She goes to the party on Wednesdays. En la mitad de la semana, okay. She goes to a party on Wednesdays, very good. What else? What other activity? She goes to the gym on Wednesday. She goes to the gym on Wednesday. Ya ven, de correr a la fiesta, al gym, okay. <laughs> la Ingrid bien ocupada, okay. What else? Este, she works with my family. Okay, she works with your family. Okay, that's perfect. She works with your family. Okay, perfect. Okay. She goes to the beach. <laughs> she goes to the beach on Wednesdays. The beach. She has money then. Okay. Very good. Media semana, media que galán. Okay, very good. And the last one. Who has the last one? When employee acquired the raw material. Number four, who has the answer? When does employee acquire the raw material? Uh, Carla, can you repeat? When does employee acquire the raw material? Okay. When does employee, okay, when does the employee for the employee acquire, acquire the raw material? Very good. Acquire the raw material. When does the employee acquire the raw material? What could be an answer for this? When the production starts. When the production starts. Very good. The production starts. Very good. What could be another one? When the company provides, provides, no sé cómo pronuncia. Provides, when the company provides, pro, when the company provides the money, okay. When the company provides the money, the money, okay. Or we can say a date on Thursdays, for example, right? <coughs> or every Monday, and so on, okay? Here we're asking for time. Very good. Do you have a question about this exercise right now? Any questions? Tiene alguna pregunta acerca de lo que acabamos de hacer? No? Okay, it's clear. Que conste. Está grabado, que está clear. Vamos a ver. Now, I would like to I would like to work with you with the time, okay? This is very important because we have some exercises related to the time, right? And here I want to show you these these ways of saying the time, okay? Vamos a aprender a cómo decir la hora. La pregunta que, oh, sorry. 
Give me one moment. The question that we always make when we ask for the time is what time is it? What time is it? That is the question that we make. What time is it? Ahora, vemos los reloj. Todos nos podemos la hora en español, ¿verdad? Sí, no. Yes. Sí, todos podemos leer ese tipo de relojes. Sí. Yes. Ok. Solo ahorita yes. me dijo yes, ya me fijé. Yes. Sí. Yes. Sí. Yes. Ok. Ok. Very good. <laughs> ok. Now, in English, we ask for the time and the time we read it the same as in Spanish. Ok. So it goes the same way, right? When we see here, the small, this one, the small one gives you the hour, okay? And the big one gives you the minutes, okay? So in this case, we are going to say it's one o'clock, right? We say it's one o'clock, right? La una. No sabemos todavía si es de la mañana o la tarde. Solo sabemos que es la una en punto. It's one o'clock. Right? Then, we have here and we see the same time. Siempre es la una. Miren la, las dos agujas. Siempre es la una. Pero ¿qué hora es esta? It's one o five. La una y cinco. It's one o five. Esa es una forma de decirlo. La una y cinco. One o oh five. Otra forma de decirlo, que es siempre la, la, la misma hora, it's five after one. Que serían como las si, pasadas, cinco minutos pasado de la una. Algo así se dice en español, no sé. It's five after one. Una y cinco. La una y cinco, exactly. But these are the two ways. Estas dos formas significan lo mismo. Okay? 105, it's five after one. Okay? Now we go with this one. We can say also it's 115. El O lo vamos a utilizar hasta las 9. It's 109. Ya cuando llegamos a las 10, is la, la 1 y 10, it's 110. ¿Verdad? Este O del minuto 1 al minuto 9. Luego pasamos a otra que es importante. It's 1.15. Right. Or it's a quarter. It's a quarter after one. Miren qué hora es? La 1 y 15. Right. So here we have 1 p.m. 1.05. 1.15. Right. Then we have this one, 1.30, right, 1.40. Y aquí ya no vamos a utilizar la palabra after. Cuando ya pasamos de la media hora en adelante, ya no utilizamos la palabra after. Ya utilizamos la palabra to. Ya no vamos a decir son 40 minutos pasada la una sino que decimos faltan 20 para las dos. It's 20 to 2. It's 20 to 2. Or it's 140. Right? And then we have it's 145 or it's a quarter to 2. La 1.45. Okay? So these are the different ways in which you can say the time. Right, o'clock. A veces también con o'clock dicen sharp. Sharp. It's one sharp. La una en punto. Pero no es tan común. Casi siempre decimos it's one o'clock. Okay, it's one o'clock. So we have all these ways to say the time. Usualmente tenemos dos formas de decirlo. Okay. Do you have a question after this? No. No, pregu no hay preguntas. Voy a pronunciar las últimas tres. Yes, yes. So sí. we have it's one thirty, it's one forty, it's twenty 
two, two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Okay, it's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Recuérdense, en la mitad del reloj, acá, en la mitad del reloj, en esta primera mitad, ¿qué palabra van a utilizar? After. 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 Very good. After. Y en la segunda mitad, two. 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 Very good. Two. Si se fijan solamente la hora exacta y la media hora, solamente tenemos una forma de decirlas. ¿verdad? Solamente una forma. Las otras tenemos dos formas eh, de decir cada una. ¿Is that clear? ¿Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes, ok. Very good. Vamos a trabajar entonces. Let's go in. in. Can you please take a screenshot of this? Take a screenshot. Ok, ¿ya lo tomaron? Sí. Sí. Ok. Yes. Very good. Very good. Now, I am going to show you here another example. Give me one second. We're going to do an exercise. Ok, es un very small exercise here. Look at my screen. He says, look at these clocks. Miren a los relojes, look at these clocks. What time is it? We have six different clocks. Okay, and we have the question, what time is it? And we have two possible answers. It's 20 after two or it's 2.20, right? Tomen una captura de pantalla, por favor. Take a screenshot. Okay. Now we are going to work in pairs. Ya todos tienen el screenshot de los relojes. Ya todos tienen el screenshot de los relojes. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now what we're going to do is that we are going to work in pairs para que leamos qué hora tiene cada uno. Ok, vamos a ver si lo podemos hacer. Let's go. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Give me a moment. Let us go. Let's go. We're working in pairs right now. Let's go. Let's go, please. Let's no go. Aparece, no. No me aparece la opción start. It doesn't appear yet. Ay, my camera is not working. Okay, let me send. Let me send you right now. Again, the message. Lo voy a enviar al uno y después lo voy a mover al, al, al. Ok. ¿Ya le apareció? Con Carla ya sé, pero... Sí, la moví porque Eric no podía entrar. ¿La movió? Sí. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, ok. Vaya, sería what time is Ok, ahí está la imagen. ¿Ve la imagen, don Eric? Sí, 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 sí. 
Dijo la teacher que en la parte derecha era after. After. Yes. Entonces sería, entonces sería X. Ah, bueno, la primera creo que está resuelta. Y la primera está, sí. Ajá, Veamos la segunda. Sería after tú. Sería, uy, ahí sería tú. Porque ah. son 6.50. Las, sí. Sería it. Oh. Six. Then it, 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 porque ya está en 50. Ah, no, no, sí, 50. sí, 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 sí. Ajá, sería X60. X X oh, eh, se me olvidó la esta parte. Después de la media. Espérame, que es la media. Ajá. 62. Para decir el, el, el 50. 60. Vaya en, en la tercera. Un cuarto se mira, ¿verdad? Para la. Un cuarto a las nueve. Un cuarto a las nueve. Sería Entonces sería. 8.45. O si no, nice. Podría ser tu cuarto. A45 o. Nice tu cuarto. Un cuarto a las nueve. Nice. Nice tu cuarto. Es ese es el día nueve a las quince. Es que ahí dice 15, 15 a, a las 9. Ajá. Entonces, a quarter to nine. Ah, quarter to nine. A quarter. A quarter to nine. I know, my fácil decir A45. Exactly. It's easier. Ajá. Pero siempre tenemos que saber las dos opciones. We always need to learn both ways. A quarter to nine. Quarter night. A quarter two. Quarter two night. Yes, exactly. Un cuarto a Eso las como, nueve. Como en español no, 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 no me gusta decirlo. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. En la cuarta. Once y cinco. Eleven. Eleven. O, o five. Eleven five. Oh, five. Sería eleven mm -hmm. five. O oh, eleven. Eleven o oh, five. Three. It's eleven. 11.05 or oh. Oh, oh, sería or five Five past eleven. ¿O cómo sería ahí, teacher? Es a quarter. Es a quarter after eleven. Muy largo. Pero es que. But what, what are you doing, number four? Teacher. 
it's 11 or 5. It's 11 or 5, uh -huh. Y para decir pasadas a las Okay. Vamos al al primer al, vamos al primer ejemplo. Es a quarter after no, 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 pero no es un quarter, porque solo son cinco. Ah, no, es cinco. Ajá, sí. No, no, yo estoy viendo el tren. Ya me pasé a las cinco. Ajá, pero ¿cómo sería el cuatro? Para ayudarle a, a Mariela. Eleven o five. Ajá. ¿Y la otra forma? Mm, is five after eleven. Teacher, puede ser quarter five. No, let me show you here. Let me show you here. Can you see my computer? It's 1.05, so it will be, it's 11.05. And then we have, it's 5 after, after what? After 11. After 11, very good, very good. Aquí solo tenemos que cambiar, ustedes tienen la misma estructura, lo único que tenemos que cambiar son los números. Eso es lo único. Y siempre tenemos que colocar ese X. X, sí, siempre. Es el el X. 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 Okay, so what would be the other one? Finish. Teacher. Uh-huh. Is that for the quarter? Fight. No, quarter past 11. It's a quarter past 11. Yes, you can say uh -huh. that, but that will be 15 minutes, not only five. Esos son 15 minutos, no cinco. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Vale, pues sigamos con la... Con la siguiente. Remember, remember the, the examples, right? En la, en las cinco dice que son las cinco y cuarto, ¿verdad? No, las tres. Ah, no, las tres y cuarto. Tres fifteen. Ah, ya, ya, yo no sé. No me has fijado que no sé. Briseira. Seis, cuatro, treinta. Yo estoy diciendo que ya había terminado. Ajá. Now, do you have more questions right now? No? Uh, 
no sé, de ser media hora o, o cuatro, esta cuatro y media, eh, la, en la segunda forma sería half, half fast forward. forward. Mm, we usually just say it's in this case we usually just say like this mm. for example it's 4 30 for example right we don't say half past or a quarter after because it, it's not possible it's four, 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 yeah it's <laughs> 4 30 Exactly. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Let's go with the others. I think everyone else finished. Who is this? No, Mariel. <laughs> okay. So let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello. 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 <laughs> okay, so let's try giving out the time right now. Let's see here, what do you have? And I want you, yo quiero say, okay, very good, Joanna. That's perfect. You will be the first one. Okay, Joanna is going to help me out, right, with number one. What do you have? And everyone else? Open. Faltan, faltan, faltan. There are more missing. Okay, now we're ready. Ahora sí, estamos todos. Very good. Now, Joanna is going to tell us number one, right? So, Joanna, tell us. Is at fair 20 to two? Okay, it's 20. Very good. It's 20 after two. Very good. It's 20 after two. Very good. And what is another option? Yes, 2.20. It's 2.20, very good. It's 2.20, very good job. Now let's see number two. Uh, number two. Roselena. It's 6.15. Uh -huh. Y otra opción, no sé si puede ser X10 to 7. X10 to 7. Perfect. Perfect. Those are the options. Very good. Listen to your classmates. Let's go, Briseida. I want to listen to you, Briseida. Okay. Um, 8.45. It's 8.45. Mm -hmm. Or a uh, quarter night. Or it's a quarter to nine. That's perfect. Perfect. What about number four, Edwin? Wait. Uh, number four, eleven o five. Eleven o five. Uh huh. Or five after eleven. It's five after eleven. Okay. Very good. Number five. Uh, let's see here. Susana is not here. Let's see. Joanna. Joanna. Joanna Guardado. Es que hay dos Joannas. <laughs> okay. 
Eh, vaya, una forma sería It's quarter after three. It's eh, 3.15. It's 3.15 or it's a quarter after three. Perfect. And the last one is very difficult. Let's see here, Fausto. It's 4.30. It's 4.30. It's 4.30. Very good. 4.30. Okay, very good. So we it's have there. Yes. Y en este caso de it's for 30, es Ajá. solo de esa manera. Usually, yes. Ah, es una mi duda también. Uh -huh. Ahorita solo se aprendamos. Como, como el Perú de salvadoreño dice, decimos cuatro y media. Cuatro y media. Cuatro y media. Ajá, it's for 30. Así nomás. Ajá. Cuatro y media. Ah, yo, yo, creí que, yo pensaba que se, se podría decir de alguna manera half, como la mitad, no sé, no. No, ahorita aprendamos estas. Suficiente. No. Okay. Suficiente. Para mí. Bueno, bueno, <laughs> What time is it, by the way, Edwin? Right now. What time is it? It's uh, 12 to 10. It's 12 to 10. Very good. It's 12 to 10. Or, Walter, what's another option? What time is it right now? Walter? 948. Uy, cambió la voz de Walter. Yeah. No, no, este. 945. Pero, ¿cuál ejemplo, teacher? <risa> Perdón. The eh, example, la, la, the la, real la example. It's 10. Mm. It's 10, dicen, no. Tengo club. Mm -mm. Adelantada. Solo por eso le voy a poner el ejercicio final, fíjense. No. <laughs> Look at this. Very good job. Do you have a question about the time? How to ask the time? Tiene alguna pregunta? No, solo el de las cuatro y media. Okay, okay. Yes, solo eso. No, 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 this is too easy. What? Let's do this. Bye, Look bye. at this conversation. It says here, complete this conversation mm -hmm. with the correct words. We're going to do this individually, okay? Now, in this case, it says in parentheses right here, let me see here. In parentheses, we find the options if it's do or does, right? We also find verbs that we're going to use. So you're going to read the conversation between Tom and Liz, and you're going to provide the answers for that. Look at Tom, what does your husband, what would be the option, do or does? What does your husband? In the first one. What do, does your do, husband do, do, do exactly? Do, 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 do. Very good. Do, 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 Now, husband do. what does your husband do exactly? And then we go with Liz, right? Is he? Liz works. Work. 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 He works work. Work. for a department work. store. He's a store manager. And then you continue. Okay, so please take a screenshot. Screenshot. Take a screenshot. Está en la página de la PowerPoint. Y eso no lo creen. No podemos descargar nosotros eso del PowerPoint. No. Tome un screenshot. No, no, no. Eso no lo preguntamos. Tome un screenshot. O anotemos. No. Como no, yo lo estoy deseando, ¿qué hacer? Bueno, yo puedo hacer el demo. Okay. Did you take the screenshot? Yes. Yes. Todos, sí. Tell me if you have a question. Mm -hmm. 
Se la puedo poner para tomar una captura de pantalla. Ah, Ahí sí, pote. Me metan. Es viernes, ticha. Sí. Ahí está. ¿No yes? Yes. Yes. Ok, perfecto. <coughs> Tell me if you have questions. Yes, I have a question. Pedro, did you finish? Yo lo miro bien tranquilo. Está bien. Estoy, estoy escribiendo, teacher. Mm. <laughs> teacher, I have a question. Tell me your question. Uh, when you write he, la, uh, no, perdón, en la, en la pregunta, Tom, how uh -huh. does he like or he likes? ¿Verdad que sería he like because at the beginning you use the auxiliary does? Yes, exactly. Very good. Very good. That's, that would be the answer. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. In the meantime, I will call the attendance. Susana Guadalupe, not here. Wendy Joanna. Presente. René Alfonso. Presente. Jennifer Madali. Deja. Jennifer Madali. Ay, presente. Thank you. Eric Macario. Presente. Presente, presente. Viseida Mabel. Presente. Pausa Antonio. Presente. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Carla Marielos. Hello. Carla Marielos, se fue la Carla. Se fue a dormir ya. Ahí está, pero no contesta. Ok. Wendy Yesenia Arita González. Presente. Edwin Antonio García Hernández. Aquí, presente. Roselena Figueroa Hernández. Presente. Jessica Joana Guardado de Medrano. Presente. Alexander de Jesús Palma. Pedro Ernesto Quijada Celaya. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Carla Diazet Colocho de Parada. Presente. Abel Edgardo Martínez Hernández. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Presente. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Presente. Ok, very nice. Did you finish the exercise? No. Yes. Oh. Very good. No. No, okay, let's continue then. We only have like three minutes, so let's see. If you have questions, you can also write your questions on the chat.
Did you finish almost? No. No. TV? Yes, people is nice. Very good. Y cuando termina, ¿dónde va el agua, papá? Se va por. Okay, so let's see some answers that you have there. Let's share some of the answers that you have. And we're going to start with Edwin, then with Nativi, and then with the rest. So let's be ready, okay? Será completo o solo la, una oración? Complete, complete. Uh, read the information for Liz. In this case, well, okay. we already did Liz, so let's continue with Tom, number three. Entonces, yo seré, perdón. Uh, no, just read the, 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 the answers for this one. No vamos a hacer conversación, sino que solamente la respuesta vamos a ver por el momento. Solamente ah, okay. esta parte. Ah, eso es lo más seguro. Okay. Entonces, voy a empezar. What does your husband do exactly? Mm -hmm. He works for a department store. He He's a store manager. How does he like it? Okay, very good, Edwin. How does he like it? Very good. Now, let's see Nativi. Nativi, go with Liz, esta parte, this part. It's an interesting job. He likes it very much. But he works long horse. And what does, what do, what do you do? What do you do? Very good. Who has the next answer? Nobody? Can you say that? Do you have the next one? Mm -hmm. uh, no. no. Huh? Do you have this one? Uh-huh. So, uh, can we... I am a student. I study architecture. Architecture. Okay. Architecture. Very good. I'm a student. I study architecture. Very good. Uh, Mariela. Oh, really? Oh, really? Where do you go to go to school? Where do you go to school? Very good. Uh, Roselena? I go, I go to Lincoln University. My girlfriend goes there too. My girlfriend goes there too. Very good. Goes there too. There too. Very, Pardon. Good. Very good. No, it's okay. Uh, Arita? Arita? Wendy, Arita? Sorry, <laughs> que lo tenía apagado. Really? And what does she study? Very good. What does she study? Very good. And almost the last one, Jessica? She studies hotel management. No sé cómo se pronuncia bien eso. Hotel? Hotel management. Uh -huh. Management, okay. 
Hotel management. Sí. Pero dígalo. Hotel management. <laughs> Hotel management. Okay, very good. And the last one, uh, Jessica, can you read this? That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Very good, very good. Mira, yo le pensé que les iba a costar más este ejercicio. But very good, give an applause to yourself. Very good. Ya vamos a entender un poquito más. Yay. Okay, very good. Now, we're going to finish right now with the class, right? I will see you guys Monday, right? And we're going to finish probably on Monday, unit three. No se olvide de terminar todas las tareas. Tienen que tener hasta la tarea número 15, por favor. Tienen que ya haber terminado el midterm para ya irlo revisando esta semana. Bueno, más noche. ¿Ok? ¿Any questions? Okay. Oh, very no. nice. Okay, very good. No. Have a beautiful night. Enjoy your See you weekend. Yeah. See you Monday. Good night. Bye bye. Good, good night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.